Marvel Legends fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another figure review. This is one I've been really, really anticipating and apparently lots of other people have too because it's sort of the pre-orders are sold out um, and I'm really glad I got in and pre-ordered this one. Um, this is definitely my most desired from the wave. I definitely want to get the rest of the wave. It's fantastic. This is the new uh, Disney Plus Marvel Studios um, live action wave and we've got Moon Knight. Um, yeah, probably one of my favourite of the Disney Plus series to date. Really did like Oscar Isaac in the role. And, um, yeah, trying to track down some of the older Moon Knight figures, like the sort of animated comic style ones. And they are so expensive now, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, Moon Knight says, Clad in the ceremonial armour of Khonshu's chosen warriors throughout the century, Mark Spector is Moon Knight, sworn to obey Khonshu and deliver his vengeance accordingly. So, here we have the figures on the back. It is Infinity Ultron, which actually looks really, really good, seeing some people already have that together. Um, but, yeah, I do want to get all of these. <laughs> and I certainly will within the next, oh, hopefully, a few weeks. I did see... Miss Marvel, Kate Bishop, and Hawkeye today. They look fantastic. She-Hulk is definitely going to be a standout. Um, she looks really good too. Mr. Knight. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that one. Sharon Carter will be a nice one to add with the uh, Falcon Winter Soldier figures. So definitely want to be building up this Infinity Ultron. But um, yeah, no builder figure part with this figure, which is cool. That's fine. I'm going to crack this one open and we can take a look at it close up. All right, so here we have the figure. We're going to get straight into it because I haven't had a chance to... I haven't looked at this thing. I literally just ripped it out of the packet, stood him up, got his accessories. Um, so, yeah, we'll take a look at this figure and get some sort of first-up impressions of this guy. He looks fantastic. I love... I just love the way he looks. So it does come with a pair of fists to sort of change out, obviously. He needs to do some beating. And he does come with his little moon symbols. I don't know what you call them. Oh, there's a little, a few little spots. Ah, oh, so that's one. Okay, that's cool. I thought maybe that was a peg and I was like going to sit somewhere, but it's actually two halves. So that's cool. Pop that together. So there we have that. That's, that's cool. Okay. I dig that. I didn't, yeah, didn't even click the first time, but that's nice. All right. Let's... Get a little bit zoomy up in here so we can get a good look. Head sculpt looks fantastic. I love, I just, I don't know, I love the cinematic universe. This, this outfit looks really good. One thing I'll say, maybe, maybe a spot of weathering wouldn't have hurt this figure at all. Um, there is the cape, which has a peg in the back. Um, yeah, that wasn't sitting in there properly, so I'll probably end up, that's probably something I'll glue in or replace the cape with a soft good one, which I've seen a lot of people do, which is, you know, really cool because you can get the actual, like, real sort of the half moon crest sort of shape of the cape then, but that looks okay. Um, yeah, a little bit of weathering, maybe just, you know, it's not something I could be stuffed doing right now, but uh, I might. You know, just for sake of doing it, is just a little bit of a wash. A very light beige. I think just to sort of give the uh, wraps around his arms and all his outfit a little bit of age. But otherwise, the sculpt is there, I think. It looks really nice. Just getting a suss of his articulation. Doesn't appear to have the butterfly joints in there, but that's okay. Does have the uh, swivel at the top of the arm there. Double joints in the elbows, which is nice. Double joints in the knees, got the wrist joints. Sort of upper torso there. And a little bit of leverage sort of around here, maybe. No, it's not really a joint as such. But yeah, got all the got all the good Marvel Legends articulation that you that you want, I think. To get this guy set up pretty well. So the capes, you know, it's a nice sort of mould um, for display purposes, obviously. Like, it's fine. Um, I do think soft goods would be a lot better. And like I said, I'm seeing a lot of people do that already, so I might look into that myself. 
try and find someone, but for the moment, I'm happy with this. Again, I'd love to get a, uh, you know, if they did a good Poe Dameron for the Black Series, and you could just pop the head off and swap it with this one, and you have a really good Mark Spector sort of head sculpt, I think that would be really cool. So yeah, that's, it's gonna keep popping out there, but that's fine, no big deal. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking this figure, guys, I really am. Love the details, love all the little sort of gold details throughout. Little moon symbols. We've got some of the Egyptian hieroglyphic symbols there on the on the legs, which is cool. Uh, I'm not sure what they mean. I'm sure someone out there has deciphered it or already knows. Um, that's cool. Oh, when I first saw the, like photos of it, I thought it was going to be one of those like prototype things, but it wasn't until I sort of got some better high res photos that I realised, yeah, there were. The Egyptian hieroglyphic symbols, so that's cool. Really like the look of that. Yeah, I'd love, I'm gonna, I definitely want to find out what they mean, so that will be my job for probably while I'm editing this video, to be fair. But yeah, digging it. Digging it. Love the sculpt. I love it. But yeah, really looking forward to getting some more figures from this wave. I think you look fantastic. I just want to sort of see how he holds. How he holds that. Well, I assume you can sort of split them apart and use them as two. I feel like he did that in the show. <laughs> but the fact you just sort of keep them together is cool. I like it. So yeah, looking forward to checking out some other people's reviews. Maybe they will Give me a little bit more insight into the figure, um, you know, being that I'm a bit of a Marvel Legends noob, <laughs> um, but that's cool. But yeah, I'm digging it. I really like the look of this guy. Mark Spector as the Moon Knight. Yeah, really looking forward to hopefully seeing some more of him in the MCU. I, I think he was pretty well received and I think most people would be up for a bit more. I think he was really good, especially with the uh, little reveal at the end of the season. Um, you know, the the third personality. <laughs> I reckon that'd be fantastic. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Please send it in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, look forward to sharing some of the, the other figures from this wave with you as I get them in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on another video real soon. Take care.